So every morning when I get up, I like to see how balanced my nervous system is. So I use the Elite Heart Rate Variability app. I'm going to click on that. Now admittedly, I'm kind of a physiological data nerd. I find this stuff really interesting. So where are you in terms of flight or fight or rest and digest? So this is the, the actual device. Now I used to use a polar heart rate band but I found it wasn't quite as good so and this device is pretty good um, I've noticed if it's not charged up real well that it that creates issues but it basically keeps track of your heart rate and your heart rate variability so heart rate is on the left heart rate variability is on the right and then at the very end, it gives you a number, which is basically an index of how balanced you are between your two systems. Now I'm talking, so that's going to throw it off. My pulse rate is higher than it usually is. So the red uh, spikes are the changes in my heart rate. Um, so I'm talking, so my breath is shallow. Okay, but watch what happens when I start doing some deep breathing. all the way up to 89 so what's happening is I'm causing an imbalance that's uh, engaging flight or fight and rest and digest more dramatically so my heart rate variability jumps when I do deep breathing but you don't want to do that. That's not going to give you an accurate reading. But I just wanted to demo what an impact deep breathing has. So I'm going to try to go back to my regular breath. So I'm going to hit, so I'm going to start reading now. So I'm breathing normally. Okay, so at the end, if you want to add tags like measure your mood, energy, stress, or soreness, you can do that and see how it tracks with autonomic balance. I don't typically do that. I'm just more interested in my index. Ooh, so I got a five. Okay, so it has me shifted towards sympathetic, flight or fight. Uh, your sympathetic activity appears to be abnormally elevated. Consider active recovery or the guided breathing uh, to enhance recovery. So um, my heart rate variability is kind of low at 45. My heart rate, this is way high, and it's because I was talking. And this brings up kind of an interesting point. So when I teach, and I really get into my teaching, and I'm talking fast and breathing shallow, uh, I notice that I my abs tighten up, I get a little bit stressed. So that's what's going on here. I don't think this is really uh, would be accurate if I had sat down and done it normally, but because I was talking to you, it actually elevated my sympathetic because I was breathing shallowly. So anyway, it gives you uh, kind of an index and tells you uh, offer suggestions for working out, resting, uh, so I found it to be pretty accurate. I did, I did talk to a Harvard psychologist who does biofeedback. She said it's pretty good. And I've noticed that, um, like, I went through a really stressful four days one time, and my sympathetic the next morning after the stressful event was really, uh, was really low. So it told me to recover. So it seems to be, I know the pulse rate is super accurate, and the index does seem to be accurate too. So you can use this to kind of monitor your autonomic balance.